Hey superstars, it's your best friend Scott. This is almost like a mid-monthly recap. I've got a few VRs I gotta knock out for the Drew. Uh, Rick at Vintage Oddball Cards, uh, one for Fox Crew Cards, and some entries for Aranya Boys Card Crew Giveaway. So let's do it to it. My man, the Drew, is celebrating 200 subs, which is criminal because he deserves so many more, but he wants to see three players that never won a World Series, and one of them cannot be a Hall of Famer. Napoleon Lajewey, Hall of Famer, played 21 years, lifetime batting average of 338. He was a Triple Crown winner, three-time batting champ, and he was such a superstar they named the team after him. He was also a player manager from 1905 to 1909, going 377 and 309 with 14 ties, so he was a decent manager, but in his best three years, the team finished third, fourth, and second, and his offense struggled when he did double duty. His batting average rose to 383, 365, and 368 in the three years after he stepped down, but the team then struggled, finishing fifth, third, and fifth, and uh, playoffs weren't really a thing back then either, so that didn't help his case. And then we got Jim Tomey, Hall of Famer, five-time All-Star, Silver Slugger, and 600 Home Run Club. He played 22 years. He played in two World Series with Cleveland in 95 and 97. He then joined the Chicago White Sox the year after they won the 2005 World Series. And he played in a lot of playoff games, but he had never won a World Series. And then here's Julio Franco, non-Hall of Famer, three-time All-Star, five-time Silver Slugger, batting title, and lifetime batting average of 298. Despite playing for 83 years in the majors, Julio never made it past a league championship series. In fact, he didn't even make it to the postseason until 96 when he was 36 years old. A couple other players I thought about talking about were Phil Necro and Minnie Minoso. Minnie's New York Cubans did win the 1947 Negro League World Series, but I find it interesting that guys like this that played for so long never won it all in the majors, but I'm not going to talk about them because I've got other VRs to do. Rick's doing a contest where he wants to see those super well-loved beaters, and he's giving away a Don Mossy rookie card, so you know I gotta at least try, right? He's also giving away some cards of some other guys like Stan Musial and Willie Mays, I think, but whatever. Don Mossy rookie, man. Uh, I have been keeping my eye out for fun cards like these for the past year or so, but I usually give them away. So I got this creepy Gary Bell from Math Bowler with his eyes burned out. Check that out. But here's my entry. This one is my favorite. It is the 1958 Mossy. This was gifted to me at the 2021 National by Andy from Flying Dutchman Cards and his brother Doug from Don't Talk to Robots. Don's got this cool little alien creature on his forehead and either a really long mustache or projectile snot coming out of his nose. And then whoever did this also adorned the card with some weird scribbles, either as decoration or they were practicing writing the number eight maybe. But uh, whoever did this made a beautiful card even more beautiful. MP and MC are doing their yearly prediction contest, and I've never participated because, you know, I'm a Cleveland homer and I really don't pay attention to the rest of the league. You know, who's got time for that? But I thought it would be fun to make some guesses, so I'll pull out the crystal ball, and here we go. The leader of the American League East will be the New York American League team. Uh, AL Central will be headed by the Cleveland Guardians. AL West will be the Houston Astros. The New York Mets will claim the NL East, the Milwaukee Brewers will claim the NL Central, and the San Diego Padres will head the NL West. I think the Mets will have more wins than the Yankees. I think the White Sox will have more wins than the Cubs. I think Jordan Alvarez will be your American League home run leader this year. The Angels will not make the playoffs between Craig Kimbrell and Kenley Jansen. I think Craig Kimbrell will have 400 saves before Kenley Jansen does. I think the Marlins will have 67 wins. Uh, I think Nathan Nivaldi will have uh, more innings than Jacob deGrom with 118. Aaron Nola will be your National League strikeout leader. Between Andrew McCutcheon, Jose Altuve, and Freeman, I think Altuve will reach 2,000 hits first. Uh, Nick Pavetta will be the Red Sox winningest pitcher. Dave Martinez will be the first manager to get fired. Shohei Otani will be a San Francisco Giant at the end of the year. Uh, the Pirates will have 70 wins. Mike Trout will play 124 games. Clayton Kershaw will pitch 149 innings. Your All-Star Game MVP will be Luis Castillo. And I have Cleveland and New York Mets in the World Series this year. And there will be 75 total hits in the World Series. I usually save my care packages for the end of the month, but these are entries for the Aranya Boys card crew giveaway, so I wanted to get these in for these guys. 
This first one is from my best friend Saul over at BD Kane. Thanks for all the support. Wishing you the best in 2023. And go Padres, your best bud, Saul. And there's the card crew hashtags to make it official. We have a Santana Refractor Orange Foil Tomy, some 2023s with uh, Naylor, Classe, Jose, Quan, Biebs, Dr. Sticks, SpongeBob Rookie, and a Rainbow Foil Classe. I believe that's the whole team set. Awesome. And here's some Topps Chrome. He broke a hobby box and we got Dr. Sticks, Biebs, and a purple Ernie Clement Rookie number to 250. And here's the best part, an autographed Saul card number to 10. So awesome and so generous, Saul. Thanks, dude. I've got one more for the card crew giveaway. Here's the hashtag. Uh, this one is from my best bud, the hobbyist. It says the youngest took these and hid them, just now finding them intriguing. Let's start with this one. Sweet, it's Christmas in March. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Your besties, the hobbyist family. And we've got a really cool King of Kings, Eddie Murray. That's a really sharp looking card. And here's the card crew part. Let's see, more awesome sauce. Stephen Kwan, rookie debut and a foil one too. I love it. Thanks, cuz. Super cool. All right, that's it for today. Thanks the Drew, Rick, MP and MC, Saul, Cuz, and Scotty. I saved some stuff for the monthly recap, including a VR for Stooks, and I'm still plugging away at some other projects, so I'm sure I'll see you real soon. Until then, love your hobby and make it your own.